Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Daily Bread, October 3rd. Thine health shall spring forth speedily. The great physician heals the sick, the lost he came to save. For me his precious blood he shed, for me his life he gave. I need no other evidence, I need no other plea. It is enough that Jesus died and rose again for me. Thine health shall spring forth speedily. Is not this the fast that I have chosen, to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that ye break every yoke? Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house? When thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh? Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thine health shall spring forth speedily, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. Isaiah chapter 58 verses 6 to 8. The Lord has shown me that many who are always complaining and are apparently feeble are not in so bad a condition as they think. Some of them have a powerful will, which, if exercised in the right direction, would control the imagination and be a potent means of resisting disease. But it is too frequently the case that the will is on the wrong side and stubbornly refuses to yield to reason. That will has settled the matter. Invalids they are, and the attention given to invalids they will have, irrespective of the judgment of others. Thousands are sick and dying around us who might get well and live if they would. But their imagination controls them. They fear they will be made worse if they engage in any physical labor when this is just the change they need. They should exercise their willpower and rise above their difficulties, engage in useful employment suited to their strength, and forget that they have aching backs, sides, lungs, and heads. Let invalids have an exalted aim in life, seeking to be useful and efficient in their own families, and to become useful members of society. Let them not require the attention of the whole family to be centered on themselves, nor draw largely upon the sympathies of others. Let them do their part in bestowing love and sympathy upon the unfortunate, remembering that each has woes and trials peculiar to himself. In thus blessing others, they will realize an abundant blessing themselves. Those who, so far as it is possible, engage in the work of doing good to others by giving practical demonstration of their interest in them, are not only relieving the ills of life in helping them to bear burdens, but are at the same time contributing largely to their own health of soul and body. Doing good is a work that benefits both giver and receiver. If you forget self in your interest for others, you gain a victory over your own infirmities. The pleasure of doing good animates the mind and vibrates through the whole body. If thou clothe the naked and bring the poor that are cast out to thy house and deal thy bread to the hungry, then shall thy light break forth as the morning and thine health shall spring forth speedily. This passage was taken from Christian Temperance and Bible Hygiene, page 102. Our Daily Bread, October 3rd. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.